just gotta keep collecting bucks. You just gotta keep collecting bucks. The first ever keep collecting box. Keep collecting box. The keep collecting box. The keep collecting box. The keep collecting box is here. The keep collecting box. The keep collecting box. The keep collecting box. It came. The Keep Collecting Box is a collaboration between the Potter Collector and the Wizarding Trunk. He has curated and decided all the items that are in this box. Peter, what have you been creating? Hello Harry Potter fans. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel. Where we are a community of collectors. Potter Collector, he is a YouTuber that likes Harry Potter just like me. Let's see what's inside it. Let's go into our Keep Collecting box. Let's have a look at the box. It says, Magical Post, Wizarding Trunk. And then on the other side, and I'm glad they did this, I was really hoping they would, it says, Fragical Delivery. The word fragical is Peter's own word and means fragile and magical. Fragical. Love the word fragical. Oh, Hamora! Yay! Shall we open it up? Let's open. Oh, keep collecting. Another phrase that Peter uses. I like, I've been trying not to look at social media at all for this particular box. Um, ba -da -da. Um, let's get started. Oh. I've got Schnigglies in here. I do call them Schnigglies as well now because that's what Peter calls them when he opens boxes. Schnigglies! Schnigglies! We're gonna move these little Schnigglies. So we have Schnigglies. Open the first thing. Okay. So what is this? First thing, it looks like there is, it's not a cheat sheet. It is a little letter from Peter. Aw, thanks, Peter. Uh, Presenting the Keep Collecting Box. The moment has finally arrived, but please remember to feed and water your owl before sending out his train. Don't worry. We did. Speaking of journeys, the Wizarding Trunk and the Potter Collector began collaborating this box in February of 2020. Because we believe that character traits are of utmost importance, we sketched, planned, designed, selected colors, tested fabrics, and searched for the materials and makers to bring you a character trait filled box. It's wonderful to see the ideas come to life. Character, character, character. What more can I say about it? It matters. When all else fades, only our character remains. Each practical, presentable, and perfectly polished item in this box represents a house and a trade for which that house is valued. Thank you to the Wizarding Trunk crew for their steadfast mission of quality, excellence, and integrity in every process and product. My grateful heart goes out to the creative and hilarious roundtable brainstorming crew of Tim, Andrew, Nicole, Michael, and Thomas. Kudos to Danny at Wizardry Workshop for his masterful skills in transforming concepts into graphic designs. And this resounding appreciation is for you. As Potter Collector community members, Wizarding Trunk subscribers, and fans of the Boy Wizard, you have modeled a contagious sense of patience, kindness, and excitement as you waited for this box. Keep collecting, Peter Kenneth. Oh, very sweet. So for the first item, we've got this plain envelope, and inside we have a library card, a hall pass, and our schedule. How cute! Okay, uh, we have a library card here, and it's actually for the restricted section of the library. So students must be in possession of this card to borrow library books. So, of course, every Ravenclaw needs a library card. They're so smart. And look at the foiling on this one as well. Mm -hmm. The niffler inside of me. Right? Restricted section. Oh, we can add, add, a little, uh, add a little photo here and go into the restricted section. Wow. Access to restricted section requires photo identification and a professor note. Issued to expiration date invalided by IP. And what's really cool about the front side is that gold foiling. That is just so brilliant. A library card. What else do we have in here? A hall pass, like you're actually a student at Hogwarts. And the gold foiling. <laughs> okay, we have a hall pass here. And of course, everything is gold foiled. 
Wow, the paper is beautiful. It's really thick cardstock. And then a hall pass. Oh, this is really well, this really is well made. Restroom break, others. Do, um, do wizards actually use a toilet? I just was wondering if they could just magically, whoop. Look at that. So it says issue two, date, professor, reason, gather missing supplies, restroom break, other, and then you have to specify with a detailed explanation, additional notes, and the back is just aged looking. But it's still really nice how it's like just aged, like on ancient paper, how it would be. And I love the foiling. This is brilliant. I don't think I've ever seen stuff like this in a subscription box. And this is the only two things I've pulled out so far. And then we have this. It is a Hogwarts schedule class. So these are all the classes that I will be attending at Hogwarts uh, next fall, September 1st, when I go on the Hogwarts Express. This is the fanciest uh, schedule I've ever seen. Look how nicely done. There's so much information on here and little handwritten notes. This is designed so well. And then on the back side, you can kind of see a watermark print. This is amazing. Oh, it's like, oh wow. So it's basically a, looks like a timetable. And it's been actually like annotated as if you've used it and like written on it. There's a tiny little mandrake there. This is so cool. Oh. Oh, oh, is that a... Oh, it's a schedule. It is a schedule. So these are all the classes that we signed up for. I forgot about those. Yeah, the schedule belongs to Blink. Oh, you can... I can write my own name and then this is like a timetable for uh, myself. What is that? A school schedule. I love that. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, we have um, school village trip second Saturday of every month. Man, that's Mark cool. Coward. I'd want to yep. go on that. It's a Hogwarts class schedule. And look at the foiling. Okay, so on Monday we have charms from 8.45 till 10, then divination 10.15 till 11.30. That's nice that they've given you a 15 minute break to get to your next class. That's very considerate. I love all the little like blue written in notes as mm -hmm. well, like study group, instead of it being free, you know, like a free period, they were right. in study group. At the bottom, some notes and some important information. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, <laughs> library hours, and quiet hours. Ooh, charms class tomorrow morning. Study group. Hopefully Harry and Hermione and Ron are in there. Actually, really, uh, if it's studying, I only care about uh, Hermione. <laughs> I feel like a student. Look at the schedule of classes. Oh, the detail is awesome. I have to stare at that like, all day now. Oh my gosh, what does that say? Bring up dragon's hide gloves. Oh my gosh, yes. Does that mean you get dragon's hide gloves somewhere? It's like you didn't know you wanted this until you have it. These are the little things that you know are there, but you don't put a lot of thought into. And I'm still on my first thing. I haven't even opened anything else. School board certified, ministry of magic approved. Then you have the golden lay and you know, the, the crest and everything. It looks really fantastic and everything again is put on really nice cardstock as well mm -hmm. so this is really neat again love the gold foiling and how old this looks this looks like definitely something you would see in the wizarding world so so exciting here we have a pin and it has professor dumbledore on it Fine, Amanda. what is that this is cool mm -hmm. this is cool okay Peter, I love this. It's Peter oh, as pinned. Dumbledore. So cool. That is the, that's going on the pin board. Ooh, oh. <laughs> it's Peter as Dumbledore. He um, goes as Dumbledore. <laughs> that's cool. Look what it is. That's definitely Peter <laughs> as Dumbledore. That's hilarious. <laughs> Aww. Doesn't that look like him? I think that is. <laughs> Peter as a Dumbledore. Of course it is. Oh, that is so nice. It's Dumbledore and his little portrait. And it's a two-class pin. And it's just Dumbledore looking looking studious. This is this is amazing. It's a pin with the Potter collector dressed as Albus Dumbledore. 
it looks like an official Hogwarts portrait, like Dumbledore's portrait, but it's the Potter Collector doing cosplay. I would love more things like this, Peter. 10 out of 10, man. That's so I cool. I love it. That's cool. It's like a younger Dumbledore. <laughs> no, that's Peter. It's a Richard Harris. Is that Richard Harris? No, it's not. I thought it was. It just looked like him. It's oh my gosh, it's not Richard Harris. This is actually Peter as Dumbledore. That's the Potter Collector. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. No way. <laughs> this is Peter in the Dumbledore costume as a pin. Look at that. I love that. I love, it's like made from metal. I see a brown box. I love potions. I think they're very fascinating. When I was younger, I used to steal my mom's like herbs and oils for like cooking and like make my own potions when I was younger. And then I've always wanted the potions that the Wizarding Trunk offers because I've seen a lot of unboxing videos on those. I love potions! Oh, it? it's so pretty! What is it? This is my first ever potion. Ooh, oh, I love this color. And it says, Wit Strengthening Potion. And it has a little eagle right here and on the logo. Oh, and there's an eagle. It's an eagle. It also has an eagle on top. It has the eagle in the front of it. It's got the eagle, because oh. it's not actually a raven. Yeah, that's actually an eagle here. It's an eagle. They've that's actually got it right. It confused me for a minute because everything normally has a raven on it and then I was confused because it was an eagle. Yeah. And I know how Peter thinks, how yeah. he feels. Twine wrapped around it. Very beautiful potion. I love the rope around the top here. Like, cause that makes it feel like, kind of like a Harry Potter item or like it, you'd find this in like Snape's potion cupboard or something like that. So this is awesome. Bronze on the top and the potion is blue. So there's so many details. And do you see the swirlies? <gasps> It's so beautiful. I love it. Uh, Peter and the Wizarding Trunk were careful to put a bronze topper on it. I love the blue color. I love the bit at the top with the stopper. Lovely. I love that. Okay. The wit strengthening potion and on. It's got like the, it, it chose to do the bronze color with the blue. Nice. Ooh, Ooh, it's pretty. And look how it's sealed. Ooh, I was right. I thought there'd be a potion bottle. Provides clarity to thoughts. The ingredients are ginger root, armadillo bile, and scarab beetles. Wow, I have my first potion. Let's see what happens when we shake this beautiful potion. Oh, look. <gasps> That's so pretty. I don't know about y'all, but this is like really therapeutic for me, like to watch the uh, contents of the potion, you know, just swirl around. It just looks really cool. I, I do like the look. I like that it's not too much, you know? It's not... Yeah. I like that it's... Because some, some of the other potion ones use resin or something. That one looks like actual liquid. Yeah, it is actual liquid. That is really nice. That is such a good item. item. That is so cool, you guys. Very, very pretty. It's going right onto my potion shelf. I don't know if you can see it up here. We love that potion. Love potions too. That's one of my favorite things as well. Just from watching uh, unboxing videos. I love potions. I think they're awesome. Skylin, you're up. What do we want to get next? Um, this one. All right. So I see a chest, hooded chest possibly. Oh, that's awesome. The, the box itself? I don't know what's in it. It looks like a Quidditch box that holds it does, all the balls it does. from the, you know, Quidditch. The packaging is great. We love when we can display the packaging as well. So cute. Oh, it's a Quidditch trunk. I'm very interested to see what's in here. So here is a close-up look at the two balls. They are metal balls and they do look like, I believe it's the bludgers if I remember right. So yeah, look at them. These are the little bludgers. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who does that? Everybody! You know, wait. Oh wait, yeah, let me see. Oh yeah! Okay. Aren't, those, aren't these those things that yeah. you work with? I've used them a few times. It's for patience. It's to learn to have yeah. patience. You don't got it. I don't have it. Is it those um, 
relaxation balls, is it that? So they represent patience and they're used for relaxation and actual focus. Okay, so you just kind of like roll them around, it kind of gives you uh, relaxation and helps you be patient? Here's what they are. They're boating balls. Oh. They're used for, it's a, <laughs> it's like a ancient Thing. You're not supposed to let them touch. It's going to take <laughs> patience for me to learn how to yes. do this. Maybe you, as a Gryffindor, can use them because I have way more patience than you do. Yeah, I'm a ball of stress. I'm going to assign you to use those one hour a day. Okay. okay. Before we go vlogging. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. She got it in spades. Okay, so Cheryl said that she's been using them and it's helping with her arthritis. <laughs> All of the older Harry Potter fans, this is good for us. <laughs> oh, I think of everything. And I love how Peter Kenan thought of it to put that there so that these would be easy to put on display on your shelf. This again well will go up out. on my shelf. Peter's thinking of usefulness and like just for display. I love it. Oh, and I bet the rings are just to keep them in place when you display them on the shelf. Now that I like because so many things you get, but the ring, you just set it in there and it keeps it from rolling around on your shelf, I bet. That's so cute and you could display them in the little Quidditch box. These are really, really cool. These are you've outdone yourself. Yeah, these are really this good. This is amazing. Because this isn't the sort of thing you see in, um, in a normal in subscription a normal, box. In a yeah. This, if I was unboxing something like this every month, I think I'd be really happy. So Peter, when are you going to do another Yeah, collab? do another one. We do want another, another one. It's Definitely. so good. You can tell a lot of time and thoughtfulness went into this box. Yes. Like, you really can. Yeah. Like, every item is awesome. Yeah. Where's these? Man, these are ginormous. Okay, this is... Oh, oh this is moldy. I just saw this, like, shiny thing. This is really nice material. I don't know what this is. Hang on. Wow, this is really cool. I'm going to go for whatever this brown thing is. Ooh, Ooh. dragon hide gloves. Oh my goodness, are these dragon hide gloves? Oh, they are dragon hide gloves. Some dragon hide gloves. Look at these gloves. Dragon hide gloves. That's so cute. Dragon hide gloves. Oh, they're gloves. Dragon hide gloves. Oh, that's cool. They're not leather, of course, but they kind of feel like a pleather. These are so cute. This is this is not something I would have ever expected. It's got a lot of the scaling marks and, you know, enough to make it look really, really authentic. Yeah, the detailing on this is um, if, if I can remember, uh, one of the requirements is a pair of dragon hide gloves. I actually like that they included this. I'm not sure what house it goes with, but I've just started rereading the whole series and I'm so I've just started with book one. And one of the things they talk about as a requirement uh, thing that you need to get for Hogwarts is a pair of gloves. When Hagrid finally gives Harry his school letter, acceptance letter to Hogwarts, when you look under uniform, it requires one pair of protective gloves, dragon hide, or similar. That's so fun that they, we have dragon hide gloves in here. Look at these. Uh, this is so cool. So it kind of looks like little scales on the actual gloves. This is so different and unique. I did not expect this. Okay, I don't remember seeing uh, any of this uh, in the Universal Team Park or anywhere uh, of the Harry Potter shops. They don't sell Dragon Height gloves, but all us Potter fans, we do know that uh, all students are recommend to get one Dragon Height gloves. <laughs> it's so big. That is cool. These things are huge. I mean, hold your hand up to this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> They fit perfectly for me. Yeah, your hands are huge. Mine are not. Very soft inside. I'll probably keep them connected still because I like that it says this little dragon hide gloves here. How cute. This would be fun for um, cosplay. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice quality, by the way. These are really nice gloves. They're huge, but these are really nice. Okay, these are super fun. These are going to look really cute with my Hagrid stuff because I feel like 
Hagrid would have a pair of these as well. That is so cool. I've never seen dragon hide gloves in a box before. Oh, and they're really soft inside. So that's fun. What do you think? Can you wear those? They might be a little bit big for your hands. I think you still need your small mittens. The detail on them is amazing. You have like the embroidered stitches and you have the texture of the leather, which I think has been like textured on its own. These are so cool. I think this is just like a character of you and it like prepares you for your stay at Hogwarts, which makes me very emotional because I've always wanted to go to Hogwarts. That's been a dream forever. And just to have all this stuff is really, it's like really amazing. So I do like that they made these a little oversized. So it's bigger than my hand. So it fits in nicely. So these could actually be used by anybody who gets the bugs and you're not having to worry about if the gloves are too small or not. Maybe this has to do with Hufflepuff because because of like hard working, you know, using your hands kind of thing. This is like super good quality. Oh my goodness. This is a really nice material. Maybe it's like a faux leather. It's really smooth. And the inside's like kind of like a soft, almost like a suede material. So yeah, I could definitely see myself actually using these, doing some work around the house. So it's really nice felt material inside. Good material and again something else that's useful which i really like in harry potter merch is things that are not obvious that it's harry potter but you know something you could still use so very well done i like these i'm not taking the tag off this is how they're gonna be they're gonna be just like that dragon hide gloves then there's a green velvet pouch in the box let's see what is inside i'm guessing slytherin Yes, I would got an award. Award for special services to the school. I have received an award for special services to the school. <gasps> ah! <gasps> award for special services to the school. That is brilliant. <gasps> I love it. Oh, you guys. It's so Cool. I'm instantly just thinking of where this is going on my bookshelf. A special award services to the school. How cute is that? So I don't know what special services I performed, but apparently I'm special for it. That's really cool. Oh, and the quality of it just looks so good. It's got like that brushed nickel. So this is a wood and steel plaque. Hmm. Yeah, just do it like that. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to oh, have yeah, the other hand. <laughs> it's like a little award you would get at school. So we have an award for special services to the school. Like a real little plaque that I could hang up on my shelf. And I think this is like what Tom Riddle gets when he gets that award for helping to figure out who opened the Chamber of Secrets, actually. Oh my days, you could make like your own trophy and put it on there. Or you could get one of the, like a miniature plate stand and put it on there and put it on your shelf. And What's the feel, feel of everything? Feel metal. Everything feels right. really, right. really well made. I don't know. This is something you could have found in the trophy room and now we got our own. So that's kind of cute that you have your own award for special services to the school. And you can see it's on like a wood. It looks like a wood backing. I can't tell if it's really wood. It's very nice quality though, whatever it's made out of. I'm thinking this might be the Slytherin item for ambition. I feel like getting your plaque on the wall for services to the school. I feel like that could maybe be related to that. I'm obsessed. I wonder what I won the award for. Um, I'm going to say for being in the Frog Choir. Um, maybe I just gave a stellar performance. Thank you, Amber. Yes, I think it does look great with the metal and like the wood combination. It's it's genuinely perfect. I, just, I mean, this is a quality little collector's piece. And it is really like what you would probably get like it looks like something you would get and keep on a shelf and have when you were older <laughs> the plaque is really pretty and it's shiny i love that 
Oh, these are all really, really good display items. And the little green bag is super cute as well. You could put like little potions in there if you wanted to. That will look really cute on, the sh on my shelves as well. And it's not too big. So, you know, you, you end up with so many things from subscription boxes and you don't want to let them go, but then you run out of room to display them if they're too big. I have many people to thank for this award. Oh, there's so much in here. I love did you find a pen? You found a yes, pen? I found a pen. Yeah. I did. <gasps> oh, okay. So this is our chivalry item. Look at this giant pen. It says chivalry, persevere, and colleges. Oh, we have a, another pen, and this is a Gryffindor one, and it says chivalry on it. It's a very beautiful pen. I really like the bigger pens if they have a lot of really nice detail to them. And this one has a lot of beautiful detail in it. I have a pin board, so these are actually going on my pin board. So excited. And it has the collaboration logo on the back here. Oh, I need a board for pens now. I don't have one. Take it off the wrapper. There you go. I like it. Look how big this is. This is perfect for your pin board. Wow, that's a nice crest. Huge pin, wow. Look at how beautiful that pin is. Oh, that is a nice design. That is a huge pin. Chivalry. Oh, wow. That's huge. Ooh, I get to, oh, I was gonna say, I gotta keep this pin. We bought two boxes. <laughs> I gotta keep everything. <laughs> Look how cool this pin is. This is a thick pin. By hand for reference. That's how big the pin is. Oh, wow. This thing is fantastic. And it's got a lot of weight to it and it's really nice. What do you think of this piece, Scott? Is that a cool pin? Mm -hmm. I really like it. Love this. It's heavy and made of metal and it's bronze, so it looks aged. But there's a little lightning bolt at the bottom. Look at the little lightning bolt. I don't know if you can see it. You see it right there on the bottom, the little lightning bolt? Oh, I like that a lot. I just think this is a really beautiful pin. It's really well done. I like it on the back. Yeah. On the back exclusively, wizarding trunk with the keep collecting box of Potter Collector. You can't get any better than that. So cool. That's pretty cool. This has all my pins on it, but this pin is not gonna fit on there. These are all my pins. I'm gonna have to get another one, Peter. And then, um, it, like something maybe in Latin? Yes. This one here, that word kind of looks like the word collecting. So if I can deduce, I would say keep collecting would be the phrase in Latin there. I really like it because it's not just a normal crest pin because of the fact that it's so big. Um, so it's really going to stand out if you like display your pins. You could put it, if you've got a plain bag, you could have it on the bag and it looks like a crest on the bag, if that made any sense. But that is a really cool design. Very nice pin. I think that's the biggest pin I've ever seen. I love pins. I'm yeah. glad this came with two pins. Beautiful pin. Huge too. We love like really big pens. Okay. But that is one of the items representing um, the lion. What do you think, mug? I'm gonna guess mug. Ooh, that'd be cool. We have a really big box. Look how nice this is. The box itself is really nicely designed. And which again, I believe is designed by Denny. Boxes like this are everything because you really can add them to your shelves and just enhance them and make them look even better. Okay, again with the packaging. Look at the packaging. This is a Slytherin item. <gasps> Dude, it's Slytherin just like you. Can you open it? Or actually, no. Oh. Coaster? No? What is this? Oh, it looks like a coin bank. Oh, it's a little piggy bank. That's we have a awesome. son. I think that's cool. It is a piggy bank. Well, it's a bank. Wow. 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 Okay, so this is a piggy bank and it's in the design of the Chamber of Secrets. You're joking! It's a coin, coin, coin bank in the shape of the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets! I absolutely love that because I have a section for uh, the um, Chamber of Secrets on my table. This is so nicely done. It's not just designed on the front, like it has that little brickwork throughout the entirety of this little replica. And that's where you can dig out your money.
Ooh. What does that look like? It's a piggy bank! Ah, oh, and it looks like the door on the chamber. It's the chamber of secrets. <laughs> That's cool. It's a, a piggy bank with the chamber of secrets. Oh my gosh, you guys. Is that it's my the Chamber of Secrets? Oh my god! I haven't been Let's have Harry and the others get down to the Chamber of Secrets. I don't want to break With it, so snakes, we're just going to get it out <gasps> It's a money box! We can oh, use it to save cool. for Florida! It's a bank! It looks like a little bank! Oh my gosh, this is so detailed. Wow. What? Oh, it's a coin bank. That's awesome. The Chamber of Secrets. Are you kidding? You're kidding, right? This is the literal entrance. Oh, it's a piggy bank. <sighs> this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Look at that. And it's a piggy bank and you put it in there and then you could take out your change. This, wow, it's very well made too. Chamber of Secrets. Oh, is this what I'm thinking? Is that, that you can put your coins there, right? That piggy bank? Wow, this is crazy. So this is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, and it also doubles as a piggy bank. And I'll actually be able to like use this for something. Like that is awesome. This is cool. I like the box too. Yeah. Oh it's a money my bank. goodness, that is so cool. Are you kidding me? Wow, that is awesome. What a cool piece. That is so cool. That is really, really detailed as well like a little chamber of secrets door next level because Peter really knows what kind of things his weavers like really something useful because I don't have anything like this oh man my sister ordered this box as well and she's a Slytherin and Peter I can tell you she's gonna love this wait this is a bank this is a this is like, the, it looks like the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Wow, I am impressed. This is not what I was expecting out of that box, were you? No? Look at that, look at that artistry. Wow, it's an actual money bank. I'm so excited. It's got a little coin stopper at the bottom. Oh, that's cute. That's pretty cute. That's really cute. So it's the chain. That doesn't fit all my pennies. You see how many pennies I have? That would make sense. If, if, if we ever made it on one of his videos that the collection thing he's going to do, that's not going to make sense. That what? A large amount of pennies. <laughs> it's not going to fit in a whole room full of pennies. Look at all the detail and the stone. This piggy bank just amazing the quality that went into this piggy bank is absolutely amazing i mean i can't even oh no way it is a coin bank you have the slot up here and then you have uh, if you want to take your coins out you have that little rubber stopper down here the whole bank itself is what looks like to be brick or i'm assuming stone because it's in like the depth of hogwarts this is very impressive all these things i just would not think to put in a subscription box and this they're, they're so creative and so wonderful i think the thing i appreciate the most is there's literally just so much thought has gone into this and i think you know obviously anything like this is fun but i can just like feel how much thought has gone into each and every item which is one of the reasons why i wanted to obviously purchase it because I knew that it was going to be such a good box. Maybe I should speak to it. Maybe my parcel tongue is rusty. That is fantastic. I really like that. This subscription wow. box, this is mystery a really, box, really good box, has made me fall back in love with mystery boxes again. That is so cool, you guys. That is that is great. This is a super cool item. Wow. Definitely going on my shelf. We've got a top box here. We've got a top box here. Ooh, OK. 
Okay, let's see what we have here. Looks like a sword. This? Oh <gasps> they my into a sword. goodness. Oh my days. Right, I can see it's the sword of Gryffindor. I, this is, yep, this is the god of Gryffindor's sword. I've got the sword of Godric Gryffindor. Hmm, oh, it's a, I believe it's a pin. Ah, uh, it's a sword replica. Oh no, wait, it's a pen? That's so awesome. This is the sword of Gryffindor. Let me show you the detail in the pin too. Like, look at all that detail in the handle of the pen. That's perfect that, is that so you would cool. open up. Right? I know. Okay, this, this is a pen. Oh, what? This is a pen. That's cool. Okay, but the detail it on is... this pen it is, is incredible stunning. look at the phoenix and the unicorn and the jewel is so pretty like what it's nicely weighted which i like and the detailing on this looks really really nice and we do have the red stone at the hilt of the sword so that's really great i absolutely love it it's silvery and it has the, the stone at the top. Oh, oh my gosh, it's a pen! It's a pen, it's the Sword of Gryffindor, that is so cool. Oh, I love that. So the detailing on the Sword of Gryffindor pen is just amazing. They put the gem there. The detail on it is really nice for how small it is. You wouldn't expect you to be able to see the detail that well, but it's very pretty. Very beautiful and actually really detailed for how small it is. This is fantastic, and I think this just pops off. Yeah, there we go. So it just comes off, and we now have a pen. Is it a pen? It's a pen. <laughs> it's a pen, hang on. I can't work it out. It's... <laughs> you pull it off. So I read somewhere that you don't unscrew it, you Pull it, and there it is! Whoa, and it's a ballpoint. Do you twist it? Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> no, you just pop it off. Ah, and that's probably what the uh, hint was from the no spoilers hint. Just pull it off, don't twist it. <laughs> so it's a writing pen. Let's, and it just pops right off. Amazing. Magic to my ears. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> it writes pretty nice, pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. I think it's jelly. It writes really nice and smoothly. I like that. There it is. That is so cool. I love pens. So you can display this, but it's also a practical item. Can you imagine being at the office and writing your notes down or in class writing your notes down? Now I did compare it just now to my Gryffindor letter opener. It's not as long. The carvings and this are more detailed than my noble collection Godric Gryffindor sword. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, that is a cool pen. That is amazing, a Gryffindor sword pen. This is solid metal. This is like, it's like cold, like solid metal. And the fact it's a pen, so not only is it a replica, but yeah. it's also useful. That's brilliant. That is really good. You know that this is a quality pen. Like it's like one of those twenty dollar pens that you get in a fancy case. Like, it's it really feels good like hefty. Like, like that feels like something you would purchase from Wizarding World. Yeah, I love that. That's really cool. That's mine. That. That's mine. Yeah. Flip myself around here to compare the Gryffindor pen to my sword replica. Look at that. Twinsies. They look almost exactly alike. Well done. Gryffindor approves. This is finally the last item. There's been so many. I'm happy to see some stationery in here as well. I've got something uniform related. What is this? Oh my gosh, it has every uniform. You get four envelopes and then four uniforms. A letter, a greeting card, whichever you may want it to be. These little cards that have a little tie and it looks like the Slytherin uniform. So you have like a little stationary set, one for each house. I say this anytime I get stationary in a box. I'm keeping it for myself. <laughs> I can't send these out to people because they're just so fun. 
okay, if this is what I think it is, this is really cool. So we have envelopes here. I think these are cards. Oh, okay, there's more colors. Oh, I have one for each house. So it looks like cards and envelopes. Okay, this looks cool. There's every house. And then some envelopes, right? Yes. These are cards or notebook things. There's one for each house color. And they have these little lines where it looks like you fold it in. And maybe that's how you shut it like this. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I see. Okay, They're like cards. little or little cards. Yeah, just like, uh, and then you can yeah. fold them up. You fold these, yeah. Oh, okay, I'll fold one. You fold, oh, there we go. So that's really cool. And then it serves as the neckline here and you can see the, the other side. It's really nice. This is so cool. Look at what these look like. If you were to actually send them out, like if somebody was opening this, how? Perfect is that. You have your little uniform underneath, but you have your robes over it. So you have it here and then you open it and it's a parchment with whatever your note is. And if you look on the back, it looks kind of like it could be the hood on the back. So these are really neat cards. And I like that they included one for each of the houses here. So basically, if you look at the back, it's got oh. the hood and then you do your message here. Oh, it's got like a little crest. And then you close the row to create. Nice! Wow, that's really creative! <gasps> Look! Here are all four folded up. Look how adorable these cards are! I like how it's blue and bronze. Definitely book accurate. Again, blue and bronze. Well done. And then, of course, the very backs of them are the robes. And then you also have the envelopes. envelopes and then they slip into the envelope how cute is that i love that and i would love to send these to people oh it looks like you have all the houses i don't think i could i don't think i could give these away really cute and it was very clever of them to just make a like generic crest that you know gives a nod to the actual house crests so this is definitely a stationary item. You're able to fold these like this and then there are actual robes that open up inside you can write your message. And again, this is very heavy like paper. So it's kind of like their house robes and you can write something on here. That's adorable. That's very, very cute. Oh, that's so cute. And this is where you would write your message. Now it is like your, uh, your school outfit. So I'll definitely be giving those to my nephew, and my sister, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw, and I will keep the Slytherin and the Hufflepuff. That is really, really cool. That really is. I love sending cards, especially within the Harry Potter community, and these are perfect for that purpose. And they can also serve as little menus. If you have a dinner party or something, you can put them on the table. That would be cute. They're really cool. You know I'm never gonna send them out. I don't send Harry Potter cards out, they stay with me. I don't think I've ever seen cards quite like that in a subscription box. I know we've gotten like Christmas cards and thing like, things like that before, but those are super clever. Those kind of remind me of like a Mina Lima style card. What would you rate rate the box, the Wizarding Trunk box, the co collaboration? Should we rate it um, out of wands? Yeah. Like one to 10 wands? One to 10 wands. I would give it an 11. I would give it an 11. Yeah. I think those are like really well thought out items from someone that we know is like actually a fan. Yeah. Thank you, Peter, for creating this box. Um, and yeah. Great job, Peter. Great job, Wizarding Trunk. So to Peter and the Wizarding Trunk, I want to say thank you very much for this box. I enjoyed it and I look forward to getting more in the future, hopefully. And maybe, Peter, you can do another collab. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to play with my Potter items now. I did enjoy Peter, Wizarding Trunk. You've done a really cool job. It was really fun to unbox. There were some really cool items in here. Peter Kenneth, Potter Collector, um, the Wizarding Trunk, 
Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you so much, Peter. I want to thank Peter Kenneth over at the Potter Collector and everybody over at the Wizarding Workshop in the Wizarding Trunk for all the work they put into bringing these items to life. Very much appreciated and really awesome to, to be able to display these items. I thought that the theming of this box was amazing. All of the ideas were just spot on. So as a big collector, um, Harry Potter collector and the Potter collector fan, I definitely like everything that I got here. So thank you so much, Peter Kenneth, for um, creating such an awesome product. Um, and of course, the Wizarding, Wizarding Trunk for doing a great job with this as well. Five out of five stars. Or yeah, there's been some really bad ones. Uh, I think this one was really good. And I do like that he put in, like useful things mixed in with display things. Yeah, out of all of the other kinds of boxes like this, we've all, when we watch reviews, we're always like, yeah, but you can't do anything with that. I'm now so excited I'm gonna go watch all of Peter's behind the scenes videos because I haven't been watching them because I didn't want spoilers because I like to open the box on my channel. And that was really neat how uh, they decided to represent all the different house traits. The Potter Collector, Peter Kenneth, I love everything and I'm really proud of you for making this and um, you are my favorite headmaster so. <laughs> Peter, please make more of these because we cannot wait to review them, honestly. We can't wait to get the merchandise, like we're so yeah. excited, like we cannot wait to see what else you're working on, we're really excited, like yeah, one collector to another. This is awesome. Super exciting. We are very proud we of you. We are. Obviously, took a lot of hard work. I can't get over it. I'm, I'm really proud of you, honey. This mm. is amazing. Um, but there was something else I wanted to say. Um, Keep collecting. Oh, yeah, that's what I'd say. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Keep collecting. Keep collecting! Keep collecting. Keep collecting. Keep collecting! And keep collecting. And uh, to all you other Potter Collector community members, I will say keep collecting. Congratulations, Peter. So excited for you. Absolutely loved your box. I will keep collecting. Keep collecting. Keep collecting. Keep collecting. Keep collecting. Love you. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and if you're new here, welcome! We cover all things Harry Potter on the Potter Collector channel, like books, merchandise reviews, unboxings, Wizarding World of Harry Potter videos, and more. If you would like to subscribe, you can click right here. You can also check out a previously posted video right around here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, feel free to leave a comment down below. I am happy to help. But for now, I must go. We'll see you next time. Whoa! Where'd he go?